It is the end of the Harvest Festival arc. I think we might still have a little bit more celebrations, but a new arc is on its way, right? Let's begin today's reaction. Oh, Kaligo, is he out drinking? Okay, Robin's hosting, but is Kaligo here? Huh? I can't see him. He must be in the corner, maybe. Kaligo, where are you at? Susie Q's around. That's the healer guy that Cyber beat the shit out of, right? <laughs> Ka maybe Kaligo and Balam's doing their own separate thing, maybe? Oh, he just can't drink? That's kind of like me. And Kaligo, yeah. He would never show up even if he got invited. Man. That's oh? Wait. Never mind. It's other people from the back house, I think. Never mind. It's Balam and Kalig. He brought him. Wow. Well, he actually showed up. That's kind of huge, like, if you have, like, a friend group or, like, a work environment where you're always, like, having these parties and you invite somebody but they never come and they actually showed up, it is a miracle. Usually, you don't want to be the guy that, like, denies all the invitations because then you just stop getting invited. Then you're like, oh, do they hate me or something? It's kind of a weird thing, but it's good to take the acceptance and, like, take the invitation. Just go and just, just hang out. <laughs> Robin did well. What did Robin do? He trained lead well. Yeah, yeah. Sullivan's got the tech. <laughs> it's probably the most expensive thing. Dude, 100% that is the most expensive, yeah. Well, if Sully's paying for it, why not? Balam's drinking it. It looks like Balam could... A straw? Oh, yeah, because he can't mask thing. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> but drinking through a straw. <laughs> no, I don't think he could. I think Kaligo's a lightweight. I bet if he takes a sip, he's gonna pass out. Karage chicken for sure. Because <laughs> you're so fluffy and cute as Eggy Sensei. Let's barbecue Kaligo in Eggy Sensei mode. Grandfather! Oh, that's nice. That's nice. But she has the crush on Kaligo, right? I hope they get some kind of development between the t Please, Grandfather, you're back. He's pretty nimble for his age. Could he guard against Kaligo, though? Bro, what happened to the grandpa? Oh, nice one. Nice one. Here we go. Dude, this is a shift that's been like happening since like season one, but we get not much of it, right? Because like very specific, like couple seconds of them interacting, but not much. Oh, say something to him. Mm, she was probably too busy admiring Kaligo. Oh, mentor. Okay, that makes even more sense. <laughs> uh, opera or Sullivan? Who was it? Was it Opera, I think? Never mind. Really? Okay, I, I don't know why I thought it was Opera or Sullivan. Really? You? Maybe. Because you look so... Average? I don't know. It just doesn't stand out, right? Wow, it is true. Okay, so that guy must be next level if he was Kaligo's mentor. <laughs> right. Yes. <laughs> oh, Kaligo's taste. Oh, quite fancy. Okay, rich boy. BFFs with the members of the Misfits. That's right. That's his adorable student. What a doting, you know, teacher he is, even though he'd never show it. It's not untrue. Yeah. He's really fostered this entire new generation of the best students. Oh! Iruma. Yo, I know he's the talk of the school and the entire netherworld, but all the instructors, of course, give him credit, too. Yeah, that was insane. Because, like, that was episode one, right? First thing he... This is the first impression. Sullivan made him read out a forbidden spell. If you fuck up once, don't you just die? Right? Crazy shit. And then... He suplexed as as like the top ranking students, right? Oh my god. Crazy. Yeah. 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 
And then the four guardian. Yep, that's insane. And then he got the ring, the gluttonous ring. Sakura tree. All his feats. What's the next one? That's right. The fireworks as well. And he protected everybody. Master Eggy Sensei. <laughs> you servers here? It's so cute though. But um... Oh, true. Royal one's a big deal. If you think about it, like all these feats that the Misfits had with the Kaligo, this is like actually insane. They're like writing history, but they're kind of playing it off as not a big deal because Kaligo's like, whatever. But this is insane. Walter Park is probably my favorite arc so far because it's just, it, it was like a battle. It was an actual like combat kind of arc, right? But the best parts of how Saburo saved Azaz, right? Remember that? And how Jazz and everybody were teamed up. And then, what's his name? Uh, fuck. What, what was his name? You, you know? Uh, ah! I can't remember. The guy that showed up. The, the son of, of the Walter Park. You know, the guy that built it. He showed up and then saved everybody. Even but just by making the monster turn, right? That shit was actually next level. Ronobe! Yes. Yeah, that's his name. She mm. goes. Okay. Okay. No. What are we then? Just. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. That's right. It's the next generation we're creating. They're a treasure. Guardians. It's not a family who raised them to be the best as they can. Oh, it's getting so serious suddenly. Robin didn't hear about this, I guess. He got on top of the table with his wings out. I mean, I'd say family does that too. The gruesome discipline. Any enemy, enemy, okay. <laughs> that was so serious out of nowhere. Pretty cool presentation, yeah. Sporkle motto. Hmm? Do this every time. <laughs> Maybe. I want to see Kale go drunk and do that too, though. I want to see him make him fool of himself. Come on. Make a move, please. Yes, sir. <laughs> She starts carving it. Are they hinting at something? New enemy that's gonna go after the students? Is that the next arc? I hope so. I want something like that. Actually, be more fun. What's this? Robin? 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 What do you mean? Wait, 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 wait. Is he the enemy? What is this? Wait. No, no, no. Okay, okay. It's Robin going for Ocho. I was like. I was reading too many even like Robin is like a secret spy that's acting like a goofy dude, but no, this is the enemy. Robin's about to take him out, right? Oh, dude. He's about to get sniped. He's probably from the fingers, right? What are they called? The six fingers, I think? Second Fate cult exists? Wait! This cult was a joke, wasn't it? Wait! It does exist! Holy shit! That's kind of hype though! Because <laughs> like when they were doing that Rodas' backstory, I'm like, wow, since a cult exists, that's actually kind of cool. And they're like, no, actually, it doesn't really exist. Psych, it does exist. This will never miss, or it will always hit the target, I think. Like, I forget the exact magic. It has to reach the target, gotcha. And it'll always be a perfect shot. Does he die though? I think that's a kill through the stomach, right? Should have gone for the head. I think he's going to live. Should have gone for the head. But he missed his vitals intentionally. They want him to live. Oh. Okay. <laughs> but, well, he said they won't get away unscathed. Technically true, but I thought he might actually kill them. Okay, it's just a message. Don't fuck with us. Okay. The second cult, yo, that cult, is that gonna be the next arc? The next enemy? 
Wow, Robin's actually getting some compliments from Kalego. This is nice. Yeah, oh, this is rare. Oh, wait. She's behind Kalego right now. Bingo! You won. Congrats! Oh, he's so shy, he didn't want to say it. I don't think he wants that. Just a golden egg up, <laughs> Sully. <laughs> More serious moment. Ocho? Did he make it back? He did. Oh, who is this? This isn't Bal, right? Is this Bal's place? Is the second cult involved with the fingers? I don't know. All of them. They're all a danger to you guys, I guess. It is Bal, okay. So he is really just the head enemy boss. I wanted like other factions to kind of join in, but Bal does command the cults too. He got shot through the stomach, man. <laughs> Go heal him or something. So Ocho planted it from the beginning. So they got audio recording of everything. Okay. Is it going to be useful? Oh, yeah, there was the point. Well, that's kind of fucked to listen and cry and, like, be all in agony during the trauma scene. Come on. Oh. Kitty wo. Kitty wo. Kitty wo. That's my nemesis. Oh. He doesn't have his hair slicked up right now, too, either. My arc nemesis. That was declared in the Walter Park incident. Kitty was kind of scary. He doesn't want Arc Nemesis. Oh. Wait! Should we have. That's actually huge information! What could they do with this information? Report it to Babylus? Bao does know about that, and he was the one that made people investigate into Solomon too, right? During the battler arc. Oh shit. Oh shit, the plot's getting interesting all of a sudden. The secret's out. It's only been out to very specific people, but... To treat him. Oh, he's... Okay, I thought it was Ocho. Why is he salivating? Yo, he's getting so horny. What? But now that if people know that you're in, you're a human, you think he'd be in despair. See, that'll only happen if other people, like all his friends and social group, reject him for being a human. Or I don't think they would ever do that. But you, you really eat him? I guess demons do eat humans, huh? I mean, that isn't the anthem. Oh shit. Kiryu might actually try eating him. We have like what? Four more episodes after this? To wrap up the arc? Or the season? What arc are we gonna set up for next? Al also looks thematically different in season 3 compared to the previous seasons I think. A hunt. Yo, things are getting interesting. I just want Kitty to slick his hair up. Cause that's when he's in his evil mode. Haven't seen Bal in a while, but finally Kitty Bo and Bal come back and they're after Iruma's secret. They're, they know of it. What could they really do? I think like if they were to try to expose Iruma's secret thing, saying that he's a human and maybe expect that other demons to like betray him because it's like, what, what's a filthy human doing here? I don't think that might work because everybody wouldn't care. They're like, it's what it is. That's our Iruma. I think there would be acceptance no matter what, but it's going to be such a good arc. It's not probably going to happen in the next four episodes because it's 24 episodes to wrap up the season, right? So probably going to be season four material, but they're setting something big up. But hey, if you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please subscribe and check out the other videos and playlists to my channel for even more content. And until next time, take care.